Good afternoon, my name is Joe and I'm a service tech here at Bell Creek Equipment Company. And today we're gonna to go over some of the service points on a commercial mower and the things to look for before each mow. We're gonna first start with the engine. And this particular mower has the Kawasaki FT730. Um, start with the engine oil on this right hand side here. There's a yellow cap. We're gonna twist it to the left, pull it out, wipe the threads, correction, wipe the stick, place it back in. We do not screw it down, we just leave it there. Pull it back out, and that's where you're gonna take and read your full level. So it says on here for correct oil level, do not tighten, correction, do not turn cap on threads. So you just place it in, and then pull it back out. If you screw it in, it'll say that you were over full on engine oil. All right, also we're gonna check the air filter. We're gonna make sure there's no debris and or grass or sticks sucked up inside the air filter. So we're gonna take and twist our hold downs. Place this cover on top. And this is our air filter. We're gonna remove the air filter, verify there's no grass, any of that nature. If there's anything in here, blow it out first. You also want to take and verify that inside of your cooling ducts, there's no grass or debris in there as well, as that's where the air would channel across the cylinder heads to keep them cool. So if there is, then you can take any kind of compressed air and you can clean those out or reach in there and pull out any of the material. Place your cover back on, just go slides in, push down and line your pins up, and it's secure. So that's everything for the engine. Next, we're going to take and verify that our air pressure in our front and rear tires is uh, where we need it to be set. Because if it is off, then your lower deck will not cut level. Um, has the same valve stem as your vehicle, an automotive valve stem, remove the cap, use your air pressure gauge, and verify that you have the correct air pressures in accordance with the side of the tire. Uh, one thing we could take and look at now is we're going to go in and lift the seat and start looking at our hydraulics. To lift the seat on this particular Martin, uh, model or any Spartan, you push down on the lever and pull back with your hand and the whole seat will come forward. Once the seat's forward, one thing that I want to look at is our, our hydros and we want to take and verify that they are full of oil. To do so, you can twist this cap to the left, which is a dipstick, pull it out, and you'll want to make sure that it is topped off to the full mark. Wipe it off, check it. If it is not, then you can add correct hydraulic fluid there. To reinstall, just put it in and screw to the right. While the seat is up, we can also verify that our battery hold down and our battery terminal con connections are tight. Okay, all is good there. And place the seat back down. A couple other things we'll take a look at is going to be our deck belt and our greasable points on the front of the mower deck. So on this particular model of the Spartan, we'll have uh, two knobs and we can remove them from each side by screwing them to the left. Pick this cover straight up and it'll expose the belt and the pulleys for the spindles and the idlers. You wanna take and just, uh, you can pull them a little bit. You can verify that the, the belt is intact. There's no rips, tears, or cuts. And we wanna make sure that there's nothing stuck underneath of our spindles or our pulleys or any of our connections. Also, there is a greasable zerk fitting on this particular model on your idler arm that puts tension on the belt. You'll want to take and put a couple squirts of grease in there every couple mows. To reinstall your cover, you're just going to place this over the two studs and then screw your caps back on. All right, also on this mower deck, all of your casters on the front end have a grease fitting in them as well, and you want to give them a couple squirts to verify they're free and spinning as well. That keeps the mower deck edge from digging into the ground. Last but not least on this mower or any mower, you want to make sure that the, the bottom of the mower deck is clear and free of debris and or wet grass. 
if there's anything up in there, it will cause the deck to not cut very well. And it will also leave streaks and lines in your yard. So you get a good clean cut, you want to make sure that mower deck is cleaned out every mow. For more information, you can reach us at 410-673-2700 or on the web at bellcreekequipment.net. And that's uh, regarding anything about our commercial zero turns or residential zero turns. And we also have in stock Hustler and Bad Boy. Thank you for watching our video today.